Hey guys, we have just arrived in Botswana at Chobe Safari Lodge and it looks absolutely incredible. From Livingston, my travel companions and I drove for only one hour to reach the border of Namibia, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Botswana. We got here overland from the Victoria Falls. The border crossing was super easy, super smooth. All you needed was a full vaccination and proof of it. Uh, so no PCR test required. We were then picked up by a safari car for another 45 minutes before we would reach the lodge. Along the way we would see so many animals already. And then it was time to explore our gorgeous accommodation, which is situated right at the border of Chobi National Park and the Chobi River. I managed to get the best room with a view, since the other bedroom in the back of the suite had a bathroom attached. There is a beautiful open restaurant and a swimming pool with an amazing view. From here we went on our first excursion, a cruise along Sedudu Island. The name translates to Hippo Island because it is the best place in the world to see them. Immediately we spotted a mom and her baby. We also saw lots of impalas, fish eagles, blue-cheeked bee eaters, lots and lots of them, and many more impalas. The best thing about Sedudu Island is that you can see the hippos and elephants from miles away. And it is one of few places where you can see hippos out of the water during the day because there is lots of competition when it comes to the food. Many other animals love the grass for a balanced diet. Some still like to hide, especially the little ones. We also got to know many beautiful bird species. Then we had the pleasure of seeing the elephant bulls up close. Really close. The boat would come up to two meters away from them. Next we saw some crocodiles, a gracious giraffe, aside from the big crocs we also spotted a little one right under this bird. We saw buffaloes chilling, more elephants and many impalas. More birds like the kingfisher and the goliath heron. This is the world's largest living heron. Ended the day with a delicious dinner. You can choose anything off the menu. The next day we got up early to go on our first game drive at 6 a.m. We managed to catch a beautiful sunrise and soon saw our first animals, the impalas and kudos. A bit further along the road we saw meerkats and a fishing black heron. Driving along the water we soon saw the first hippo ears pop up. But then we went into the bush to search for the lions. We came across a huge group of monkeys. And then I was the one who spotted the lion. And she wasn't alone. After a warm cup of coffee along the river, we saw the national bird of Botswana. A black-tailed jackal on the hunt. And right before ending our game drive, we spotted three more lions underneath the trees. In the evening we went on another game drive 
and this time it was just the three of us. We had only just arrived in the park and already we saw a hippo and a baby and two fighting elephants at the same time. Not soon after we spotted another baby, a baby elephant. We also saw many more birds, like the grey go-away birds. Then once again we spotted a herd of elephants and this time they had an even smaller baby with them. One of the most beautiful moments of my life was when the herd decided to cross the water and pass around us, with the little one super close, but wait for it. Then we went back into the bush and saw a lot more animals, like this giraffe. And on our way back, we were lucky to come across the herd of elephants crossing the road after their sand bath. The little one is so damn cute. He really put on a show for us. Just when we thought we were on our way out and were super happy with everything we'd seen. There were even more giraffes, including a juvenile. We saw the hornbill dig for bugs. I love these birds. And after leaving the park, Botswana was like, hold on, one more thing. An amazing day has to end with an amazing dinner, of course. Good morning, guys. It is our third day here in Chobe National Park in Kasani, Botswana. And today we are doing a couple of activities on the water again. The first excursion that we did here was a cruise on the water. The same one we'll be doing tonight. But this morning we will have a private boat, a smaller boat to go on a two hour excursion as well. I'm very excited. We have seen so much already, it has been so impressive, so each day it's like, how can it possibly be better than the previous day? Off we go! off it was looking promising we did see some animals but then a thunderstorm hit us and we quickly made our way back okay not much luck this morning with seeing a lot of animals we did see a lot of birds but unfortunately not a lot of big animals and it also started raining not just raining but pouring uh, so let's hope that we have a bit more luck this afternoon with bigger crews and that it doesn't rain too much anymore on our cruise in the evening, we started off well once again. The elephants seemed to feel threatened and went into defense mode. It was pretty cool to see. We saw many hippos, more than in the morning, and we saw a family of Jesus birds. They get their name because they seem to walk on water. But then the wind picked up, so did the cold, and another thunderstorm began. 
that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any of the next adventures then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification after this video there is still one more video coming up about nata bird reserve in botswana which was also a beautiful place and completely different to what we've seen already by now i have left botswana and i'm on my way to namibia I'll be spending some time in Windhoek, Swakopmund, and I'll also be doing a self-drive to the south. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!